Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to an extremely snowy brush off uh, this week. It's been snowing about around, yeah, I think from Tuesday on. It's now Friday. Up in the mountains, there was like a meter of snow. I think here actually as well. I just walked off the trail and I went in like knee deep. It was just impossible to get forward. But luckily, the trail is still quite, uh, quite clear. I can still walk on it. But this morning, when photographing the Black Church, which you may have seen it's uh, this photo, you might have seen it uh, in another video already. But when walking down the stairs, I slipped and I caught myself and I pulled a muscle in my uh, my shoulder and in my neck. So I don't want to. I didn't want to bring my whole heavy backpack this afternoon. Well, I did bring the backpack, but not all the gear in it. So I only brought my 50 millimeter f 1.8 lens, the most cheap lens I think you can get from Canon, but. It's actually one of my favorite lenses. I did another video in Dutch about photographing tulips with it. And I love it to photograph in cities as well. I photo seven on this side. Um, and yeah, today I'm gonna try and do some creative photography with it. Not all creative, just using that 50 millimeters, maybe using that 1.8 as well at some point in this beautiful snowy wonderland, winter wonderland in March. It's end of March now or something, and it's stunning. It's really beautiful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a shot here, try and find the right composition, and uh, we're just gonna hike. I've never been on this path. I'm taking you along. I have no idea what's gonna be in this vlog, how it's gonna look. Just come along and uh, we'll see in the next uh, about 50 minutes. Let's start with this shot here. One of the beautiful things of photographing with this uh, with this tiny lens is that 50 millimeters on a full frame body. This is a Canon 6D. It's a full frame body, and on that full frame body, 50 millimeters is just what you see in real life. So it's quite easy to find the composition that way. You don't have to figure out like which tiny part of what I'm seeing am I photographing or is it more? It's just what I see, that's what I photograph. So I don't even really have to look through the viewfinder to find the right composition. I can just imagine it while just looking at the scene here. Uh, this first scene, there's some things that I'm uh, taking in consideration when I'm taking it. It's not a great photo, it's not creative or anything, but it's just a good start to get me into this mood. Now there's this branch up here if I go too far back, the branches branches on top, in the top of the frame, and it's a bit distracting. It doesn't help with the background, so I don't want that. So I moved a bit forward to be away from that branch and to not have it in my shot. There's this fallen log a bit further on, which I do actually like, which I want in my shot. And then it's more of a case of how much empty foreground do I want in my shot? Do I have to get closer to that log or do I stay here? So that's, yeah, just some things I'm thinking about. And uh, yeah, they have this path that is a line, trees on both sides with, they have snow from one side, so brings some nice contrast to the image as well. And uh, that's for me, this photo, let's uh, try and find it and uh, maybe get a, a decent shot out of it. So I shot a couple of compositions and uh, what I've mainly been doing is walking forward to eliminate more foreground and figuring out where I want that tree. There's one tree on the left with a with the walking design for the path, the triangle. Where I want that in my shot. Do I want it in? Do I want it out? Do I want it a bit more prominent in the foreground or not? To show that it's a walking path or not? So these are some things I th thought about. I'm not that sure what I think of it. I don't think I'll spend too much time on it anymore. It's a first shot, got the juices flowing. And uh, I hope you like it, or at least find it okay. Here's uh, the final result of this first shot.
one of my first goals when trying to get creative in photo photography is to just start shooting. As I said, that first photo, it's not the greatest photo, but it doesn't matter. As long as I don't start photographing, I don't, I'm not getting anywhere. So it's important to just shoot as much as you can and maybe half of it will fill, maybe more will fill. That doesn't matter. As long as you get a couple of good shots, if you're not in a, on an assignment or anything, just get that juices flowing. We're gonna do something with these beautiful, this beautiful pine tree back here. It's just hanging from all the weight of the snow and I really like it. And I, I, I don't know yet what we're gonna do with it. Just kind of grab the camera, walk around, try out some things. And there should be some composition in this. Let's give it a shot, grab the camera and let's go. We're gonna go for a very open aperture. I have a 2.2 ISO 100. Let's see what we can find. So far it hasn't really been an inspiring path yet. It's been interesting with the deep snow, but there's not that many shots yet. I do find it hard to find compositions in these conditions. But these trees here might be cool. But uh, yeah, it's very white and snowy. It's nice, but hard to find compositions. There's a really cool tree here. Let's see, see what we can find with that in this beautiful, pristine snow. Awesome. Before I walk into this beautiful patch of clean snow, let's see if I can find a composition from here. I don't think so. There's some branches in the way up here. But uh, yeah, let's do have a look because I'm not gonna get it this clean anymore uh, after I've walked through it. So maybe you wonder why I keep putting my camera back in my backpack while it's only this. I actually do that because I'm filming. It's just not chill, not nice to have this camera with me and this camera the whole time in this condition. So I just put it back and take it out when I see something. And that tree is really cool as well. I want to do something with that. Always look back. Let's start with this actually. There's a tree with that sign again on it and it's very covered in snow from one side. There are some branches getting in the way, in the way so we'll move a bit towards it. So come with me. So these branches here are in the way. So if I move in front of it, they're not blocking the tree anymore. It's, uh, where can I see? It's this tree here in the background, which I really like. So I'm gonna move forward a bit, see what I can uh, find. Although I did walk through the scene already, so we might, I might exclude the ground. I don't know yet. Let's see what I can uh, find. Okay, okay, I got something, I think. I got a vertical and a horizontal composition and I did leave the foreground in actually because it's nicer without it, it feels a bit off. It's a bit weird that just a tree without any context in it. I think I like the, the vertical one best, the portrait orientation. Let's do one more close up of the tree and then uh, I'll show you uh, which one I like best before we move on to this area, which we were actually gonna go photograph. Um, yeah, that's it. This uh, is gonna be the result of photo number three. Something else that's very important, I think, in composition is not only these things creeping in, but also balance in the photo. And I'll take two shots and I'll show you what I mean with balance in the photo. So I can either take it like uh, like this. Yeah, there's three main trees for me in this photo. There's one that's in the middle, there's one on the left, and there's one on the right. 
there's too much on the left and not enough on the right of those three trees. And by turning the camera just a little bit left, by aligning them a bit better in the shot, I can make them the shot a lot more balanced by just where I place those trees in the compositions. This wasn't it yet. Let's try one more because there are some trees on the edges again. Uh, this is why I normally shoot with on a tripod actually, so I have more control over what I'm doing. Now I keep moving it a bit and then I miss it. Let's see, somewhere here. There. I think that's a good one. So look for things sticking into your composition and balance of your subjects in your composition. I think this last one with the three shot, three trees can be really nice if we give it a nice edit. Really cool. It feels like a cathedral in here or something. You walk in, everything is close together, and then you come in here, you have this open area. It's pretty cool. Wow, it's beautiful here. There's a little opening in the woods, a poiana as they call it. And I really wish I brought my 70 to 200 for this. It would be some lovely, moody, misty shots. But I didn't. Ah, oh, oh. Oh, and that reminded me why I didn't bring it. Man, this walking here is becoming insane. The snow is like knee deep most of the places. So it's a bit of a challenge, but hey, it's fun. So let's see what we else we can find. Oh. <laughs> oh. Awesome. It's just getting ridiculous, the amount of snow. I'm really knee deep in the snow, but there's a really cool tree here that I want to photograph, but there's so much deep snow in front of it. Ooh. It's gonna be nice uh, and interesting to get there. Let's see uh, how close we can get, or how close we need to get to get a good shot of this tree. Well, it's uh, coming down hard with the snow, so maybe it would actually be nicer to just photograph the snow. Have a really quick exposure. Let's just do it. Why not? We're being creative today. I'm putting up my ISO to about 400, putting on manual focus because I want to focus nowhere. F4 would be okay. Let's see. I'm going to focus a bit in the foreground. If I click this, what happens? That, no, that's not it yet. Let's try a little bit, a bit different. Try it F, uh, F8. Maybe the focus wasn't right. Somewhere here. Oh, this is so hard. How do I get this snow in shots? Maybe it's not thick enough, the snow. It's really thin snowflakies. Snowflakies, yes, yeah, snowflakies. Uh, how do I focus on that? It's kind of getting there. Maybe the shutter speed is too long, so we want a longer shutter speed. 800. That is getting closer. I think I do want to get a little bit closer to these trees. Because now there's again a bit too much distraction on the sides. Yeah. Okay, let's get a bit closer and try this again. Okay, let's try it again. Almost there. I think the flakes might just be a bit too uh, too small. Uh, wow, this is really something I've never done. So I'm really trying something. I have no idea what to do exactly. 5.6, let's see if that works. No clue. Let's just take one good photo of those trees, just to get that on. I can put the ISO back low again, so 200. And let's get closer. I'll make the shot and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards.
So as uh, the path reaches the road, maybe you might hear in the background and it starts snowing harder and harder. I think it's time to, uh, to end this vlog. We've uh, done some uh, quite okay photography, maybe not as creative as I'd hoped, but maybe it's not the weather for it as well. Or maybe I'm just making excuses and I'm not that creative. I don't give a damn. I had a good time photographing in these conditions, walking knee deep in the snow. Ah, it's amazing, I love it. I, you just don't get this in the Netherlands. It's just, I, yeah, amazing, awesome. But that said, thank you all for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it, you enjoyed it, you maybe learned something, maybe you didn't, as long as you had a good time. I hope to see you next week if you want to see more of me, and if you like this video, please give it a like. And uh, you know what to do, uh, how to subscribe, that would be awesome, I want to keep growing this channel. And if you could subscribe, that would really help me along, thank you very much. If you want to see more photos, check my Instagram. And uh, I think that's it for me from a snowy brush of this week. I hope to see you next week when we will be... God knows what. There might be a lockdown coming up here. So we might be inside for quite a while. I hope not. But yeah, if it is, it is. And uh, we'll uh, figure it out. We'll uh, survive. Thank you very much for watching. I've talked uh, long enough by now. Goodbye. I hope to see you next week.